What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with Nigga, why the fuck are you on my screen? This is who's here. Yeah. I seen her going around on Facebook like a month, a month ago or some shit. Everybody was on her dick, calling her beautiful and all that and crazy, whatever the fuck. And they dropped a video on her, so I wanted to watch it. Well, I am in prison for seven years. Come out years. on the third. Thank you, Kayla. I've been here two and a half years. Wait, what's she saying? Kyla, I am in prison. About this brutal stabbing. Okay, my name is Nyla. I am in prison for seven years. I've been here two and a half years. You're doing I'm seven? I'm in here for first degree aggravated assault because someone got stabbed in the midst of it. It wasn't me or the person I was with. I looked up and there was blood everywhere. I was drenched in blood. And yeah, that's just that. She got, the girl got stabbed. I stabbed her. Now, if you've been any. She said I stabbed yeah, her or I ain't stabbed her? The girl got stabbed. I she fake looked like a girl, I know. Now, if you've been anywhere on social media in the last week, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, this was the shit I was going around as well. Chances I seen Shorty with the maggots in her hair, in her, in her what? No, why would I see that? I've seen a I post see about Prison Bay, the 22 year old female who blew up overnight with a series of prison pictures that gained her a fall. I ain't gonna lie, this mad crazy, crazy pretty bitches in jail that I will free. Following of men. Why well, do you have your titties out staring at me? Tell me fucked up. What do you mean free? Huh? Who are you freeing? No, like I'm I'm breaking free away from them. They're crazy type shit. Nah, nah. What? Why oh, you need to break free from them? You don't even know them. No, they're crazy. You never know they might hunt me down for reacting to this. Right. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep that knock right. on so me. Then I'm going to be in jail. I'm not freeing you. The other bitch. I never said I was. I said you I'm breaking said, free. No, you said you're freeing said, all the pretty bitches no, out of the jail. I said I'm getting so free. So you're trying to say I'm not pretty. What? No, I'm just saying you're crazy. But you just called them crazy. You said you was gonna free them. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes. Why would I free you if you're in jail for trying to kill me? What the fuck? What the fuck? First of all, that's how I know you don't listen. I never said that. You said that they go ready to send her money. money. You said you're going to jail. You said they was gonna come after you. For you said you're going video. to jail. Can you shut the fuck? Up? <laughs> you stay, you and even stay, offering to pay for her release. The, the self-proclaimed pretty gangster. Merry Christmas from the pretty gangster. <laughs> yeah, Get away from me, weird ass nigga. Because if you have a titty in the camera, I'm gonna smack the fuck out of you. I don't care. What do you mean you don't care? Don't put no titties on my camera. It's currently serving a seven free year me, free Nyla. prison sentence in Minnesota, hashtag, hashtag. and she definitely lives up to the name. <laughs> Pretty gangster. June 9th, 2018, police officers in St. Paul, Minnesota responded to a gas station after reports of a stabbing. Not far from the incident location. Bro, this nigga voice is annoying, bro. Officers encountered a 17-year-old female whose shirt was soaked in blood as it trailed down both sides of her leg. Man, this bitch was doing hits, killing bitches. She had a one-inch long stab wound on the left side of her neck near her collarbone. Damn, she got stabbed too? Bone, and she was conscious, but unable to stand as she kept repeating to officers she didn't want to die and felt she was going to pass out. Officers applied pressure to the wound while medics were en route, and when asked who stabbed her, you got her she said Nyla Morell. Oh, the bitch that got stabbed was running down and the cops, oh, she snitched on her. And obviously she must have had her fingerprints on that motherfucker, bro. Something like, nigga, they can't just say, yeah, she did it, and it's true. You had to find some evidence, right? I know she was drenched with her blood, but that's still not enough to pin it. Like, you could have just said, I was trying to help her stop it, feel me? According to a nearby she stabbed that bitch. By hospital, the 17-year-old had suffered a collapsed lung. Need sure to sure be on that over me, bro. I got stabbed by a girl before, bro. And her jugular had been pierced. Shit not fun. Officers followed a trail of blood back to the gas station where they spoke with an employee who stated <laughs> yeah. two women had entered the store and started fighting. When a third woman entered, lifted her arm above her shoulder 
and stabbed a knife into the neck. <laughs> yeah, you get stabbed again? All I said was thumbs up. Why the fuck did I just get touched? Why you keep touching me? Touch you. Don't touch. You. Don't touch me. Do thumbs up. Don't touch thumbs me. Thumbs up to you. Don't <laughs> thumbs me up. The woman. That's when blood started leaking all over the store. The suspects fleed in a white Nissan. I wanna fuck her the so victim bad. Left on Nigga, foot, what is wrong with leaving you? Leaving a trail of DNA. The entire incident was captured on camera, showing a female entering the store with a kitchen knife in hand, Damn. stabbing the victim, then dropping the knife. She bent down to pick it up and held it behind her back before trying to hide the knife on a candy shelf, and she ended up just leaving with it. Bro, this bitch is a liar saying she didn't do it. Nigga, you literally got caught on camera. What the fuck? At the hospital, investigators spoke with the victim's mother, who said the incident Minnesota. began days before the daughter's high school graduation. But she didn't. And she still went to graduation after stabbing a bitch. Stop playing. Didn't know the details. Nah, she innocent. The following day, investigators spoke with the victim, who said she exchanged words with Nyla at her sister's graduation. She described Nyla, me, mugging her family when they were outside taking pictures, and Nyla and her friends started threatening to jump her sister. At that time, the victim told them not to touch her sister because she was pregnant, so they threatened to beat her before leaving in a white Nissan. In the the white day of the Nissan. stabbing, the victim was walking to the gas station. How the fuck does this nigga know the story? ...with her friend when she saw the white Nissan at the gas pump, and Nyla inside of no the car one but with the, the girl devil. and a boy. That's when nah, Jada Don, the type of messages you've been sending lately, like, what does any of your messages mean? What does any of your messages mean? Nyla saw her, took off said, her free my baby. Belt, and got out as her friend did the same. Nyla's friend then started fighting with the victim as the boy was recording, and the fight ended up spilling into the gas station. The victim told investigators so she remembered pulling the girl's hair when she was told she was bleeding. That's when she felt her neck, saw the blood. And the left side of her body went numb. Wait, so if y'all... Wait, I don't get it. Nah, yeah, she deserved jail time, nigga. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, all right, if you're trying to kill a bitch, kill her. But, or if you defending yourself, kill, like, feel me? Bro, you literally jumping a bitch. Is it like, am I hearing... Did I hear the story wrong? Or don't they got the numbers? Bro, just be her ass. Why the fuck did you stab her? A video of the fight was posted on Facebook but was later button. taken down and the victim's friend described the knife to investigators as being 8 inches long with a 4 inch It means God is grass and technically I am tell watching the guts of the tree and everyone on Apple Coach and Breed left is actually makes me Christian Oh well, thanks for letting sense. me know. Serrated blade. Thanks for letting me know, bro. Nyla would be contacted by investigators who asked to hear her side of the story, but Nyla hung up the phone. She was later arrested and charged yeah, with first-degree assault number. with great bodily harm and second-degree assault with a yeah, dangerous she did that weapon, shit. as the victim remained <coughs> hospitalized for days. Speaking with she the lucky she don't got a body on her. What the fuck? She lucky she didn't die. It is Nyla's story pretty much matched the victim's. Her friend saw the victim, got out and started whooping ass while Nyla grabbed a knife, stuck it in her neck, piercing her jugular. And you know what's crazy? She actually tried to kill her. No one just stabbed someone in the neck. Like, feel me? Like, bro, you stabbed them in the arm, the leg, something like, feel me? But when you try to kill them, you stab it in their neck, stab it in their gut, nigga. You trying to take their, you and trying to take their life, do nigga. This. Collapsing her Bro, lung and leaving bitch. her with permanent nerve damage. Donald Trump 2069. That's kind of crazy. That's probably true. Nyla would be released on bond, and in January of 2000, he was released on bond. Motherfuckers paid that shit. 19. Her boyfriend was killed. On and in January of 2019, her boyfriend was killed. Oh, this was years ago. Oh, yeah, she did say she did two and a half. It was around 8.45 at night when her 20-year-old boyfriend, Aaron... This is the nigga that was recording? ...was at a gas station and got into an argument with another man in a separate car. The man followed Aaron around the parking lot with a silver revolver before shooting him four times. Damn. And he had a revolver. That nigga only had four bullets in that bitch, and he used every last one. He said, boom, let me spin it. Boom, let me spin it. Boom. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> and Aaron would later die in the hospital. Police later found a man walking along the 1400 block of 6th Street East, and after a short nah, that check... that nigga didn't have no six bullets, Jalen. 
Case. <laughs> they heard a gunshot <laughs> go off behind yeah, the Yeah, empty home. slots in that bitch, The man, too. identified as 19-year-old Keontae Prowl, later appeared with his hands up, bleeding from his face. He shot himself, the bullet entering under his chin and lodging in his head. It isn't clear if he accidentally fired while running. He still was alive? To put his hands up? Oh, Minnesota, what the fuck? It's so cold over there in that bitch. That's why y'all acting like that. What the fuck? Running from off. He didn't even feel that shit. This is or attempted to commit suicide. Wait, you think he. This nigga think he was running and said. <laughs> Boom. Like, no. Well, maybe. Probably running with his hand on. You never fucking. I don't know. Bro. Suicide and avoid arrest. But after officers arrested him, they found a six shot Ruger 357 in the back of the home. Keontae would later be sentenced to 30 years in prison. Damn. Bro, you should have just finished the job. You should have just finished the job, nigga. There's no way you just shot yourself through the chin, through your head, survived just to go to jail for 30 years. You should have just, you just you should have went to go see God, nigga. With the loss of her boyfriend, Nyla's next loss was her freedom, as she was sentenced to 84 months in prison, only months after his death. As of right now, Damn. Nyla's earliest release date is set for October 2023, meaning as long as she doesn't stab anyone else in prison. I don't want that. 2023? Yeah, that makes sense, because I would be like, that'd be like four years. That would make sense, right? The pretty gangster will be home. But you never know. They might deny that shit because they seen her go viral. <laughs> Motherfuckers be hating. Home by next year. Now I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When I saw her pictures, I was like, yeah, she pretty. I didn't expect her Yo, case was good. to be like this. Yeah, I ain't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't know it was all of this, bro. I ain't know it was all of this, chat. When I saw her handwriting I mean, on the even court that paperwork, she tried to kill one bitch. that's when I knew she was a gangster. Because anytime you got a pretty girl well, with ugly ass handwriting, bitches. you know she's about it. You know she this can fight. This guy's voice is mad annoying, yeah, but it's not that bad. I, bro, there's some niggas that is really that bad. What's that other channel that be doing the shit that Trap Geek be doing? Bro, that nigga voice is so annoying, bro. Tell my blessings on one hand, but I'm grateful. When I make it home, look to the sky and I say thank you. I peeked the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool. If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was meant to.